Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony, here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And I am out here by the beautiful ocean in Croatia, in heaven, to bring you guys another pick a card reading for today. So today's topic is a message from your angels. I brought my angel deck with me. I was just feeling the energy of the angels today and thought, what better a time than to do this angel message than after this small full moon and into a transition. This is gonna be a very, very strong energy coming at us. This month of August is gonna be much, much easier than June and July. So I was hoping that this could be an uplifting message of celebration for you for whatever it is that you need to hear. And for those of you guys who are wondering, I'm actually not on vacation. This is my life. So I am still open for personal readings. I have same day readings available. I have readings um, that you can receive within three days if you like need it soon. And I also have my standard delivery option at a very, very fair price. So you can check out the information below in the comments or the description to find out how to get a personal reading. I've got just a couple people in line right now. I'm gonna probably finish them up over the next couple days and then I am wide open. So this is a great time to get a reading from me. I even offer Skype sessions if you just wanna hang out and talk with me and have me pull some cards for you about what's on your mind. And I also offer personal coaching if you would like some life coaching. So, all you have to do to receive this reading is simply choose a number, okay? You can choose number one, number two, or number three to get your message. So just choose a number and you can head below to the description or to the comments to receive your message. And before that, I wanna show you guys this beautiful location where I am right now. to choose number one let's go ahead and get your message so I pulled some cards for you and I'm like a little shocked by this message I was not expecting this this message I pulled for you is all about rearranging the connections in your life now the first card I got is magic and it was followed by the laughter card so I'm looking at magic and laughter here and I think this is asking you to evaluate the relationships in your life and ask yourself, does it feel magical when I'm around this person? Do I laugh with this person often enough? Is this person bringing joy into my life or are they bringing pain and suffering? Okay, because here is the entanglements card. Um, and I know the words are backwards. The app I'm using to make sure I can get the background is like flipping the words around, but you can still see this is the entanglements card. And it's kind of telling you that you will be, or you have recently let go of some entanglements. And entanglements are relationships that literally are entangled. I'm sitting here looking at a net and I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna film it for you guys, uh, that's just very entangled and entwined and it's stuck and there's, it's just, you can't get anything out of it. Like that's what an entanglement is. It's a relationship that's bringing you grief. It's a relationship that's bringing you suffering. And it's not one of those relationships where it's like, oh, check yourself because it takes two to tango. It's like, literally, you got caught in someone's trap. There are people here on this earth who are toxic or who are just, maybe in a dark place and sometimes as empaths we think that we need to be nice to everybody or that we have to help everyone and heal everyone but some people really just need to kind of go off and do their own thing and are just not worthy of your presence you don't have to necessarily judge the person you can understand where they've been coming through or you can have empathy for them but having empathy for someone doesn't mean that you allow yourself to be taken down by them 
having empathy for someone doesn't mean that you have to allow that crap in your life. So this is telling you, it's validating you that your serenity is very, very important. So if you're considering kind of distancing yourself from someone or breaking up with someone, or if you recently let go of like an ex or took, take, uh, took some time out of a relationship or had a falling out with someone or whatever it is, like this is a card that could be validating you. It literally says validation that this is the kind of thing that, that happens sometimes in life. Sometimes you need to create space or distance yourself from certain people in order to just simplify your life. And so this is telling you that your serenity is the most important thing. Like it's important for you to create sacred space around yourself. This doesn't mean that you're like super, you have to be super particular and perfectionist about the people you let in your life or about your friends. Cause of course nobody is perfect, but it also means trusting your gut, paying attention to the signs and the signals that you get inside of yourself when you're connecting with people and something just feels off. So, Sometimes we have to have the will we have to have the willingness in order to create freedom in our lives It can be really awkward walking away from a friendship. It can be really painful um, Breaking up with someone or leaving them behind But this is telling you that you're growing and you're changing and that means that there could be a little bit of rearranging Naturally with the relationships that are in your life because when you change what's going on in the inside of you The outside world your outside reality will change as well. So this is the awareness card it, It's integrity looking around and asking yourself does this person in my life have integrity does this person have integrity and integrity is uh, like an action. It's like somebody who does the right thing. Somebody who you feel makes, you know, pretty good choices. It's not about judging people. It's not about only being friends with people who are woke or whatever. <laughs> it's just about asking yourself, does this make me feel good? Is this person serving my highest good? And is there like an equal flow of energy going on here? And if something is seriously off with the relationship and it just continues to go on and you'll know like disagreements misunderstandings are normal in relationships but per to perpetually be in an energy of dysfunction with someone over and over and over and over again to constantly need to apologize and constantly feel the need to explain yourself to someone is a red flag so this is telling you your guides, your guardians, your angels, they're here, they're watching around you. They're gonna help you connect with the right people. They will help you know when it's time to walk away from certain connections. Some people will be good in your life for a certain amount of time and then you outgrow them or vice versa. Maybe some people decide they outgrow you and that's okay, it's part of life. I didn't know that when I was in my 20s. I didn't know that there would be people who would come and go, um, and the real MVPs will stay. And if you're alone and no one stayed, that's okay. It, that happens, okay? You're just going through a change and embrace your solitude, embrace your alone time, love yourself, have fun with yourself, and you'll bump into the right people along the path. Your soul family's out there. So I hope that this message resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. And once again, if you're interested in a personal, personal reading, check out the description and the comments below for information. Uh, but the best way you can support me is simply by hitting the thumbs up, liking this video, and sharing it. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number two, let's go ahead and get your message. I've got a bunch of cards here laying on the ground I just pulled for you. I've got a whole download going on. The cards are gonna be flipped around because I had to use an app to make sure I could expose for the background. So they'll be backwards, but hopefully you can still see them. This is basically a message, like a big pick-me-up message. This is telling you, you've been going through some type of process that has been very, very difficult. Maybe it's the world events that have been going on that kind of got you down. For some of you guys, I feel like you're having a difficult time in love. It could be you're just like not manifesting your soulmate even though you really feel like you're ready. Or it could be something like a, you know, a breakup. 
someone uh, that's left your life, some type of loss you've experienced, maybe some financial problems, basically something that's been on your mind lately that you've been stressed, worried about, that is what I'm talking about here. Um, there's a lot of people watching this, so your situation could vary, but what you guys all have in common is that maybe you're starting to freak out, like, this is just my life. Well, go figure, I guess that my life is just gonna be like this forever, like, it's, it's, it's been going on for a while, maybe months and months, maybe years, and you're at this point where you just, all you expect is this pain and is this suffering. And I know what that's like, I've been there. I, I remember being at this point in my life where I just really thought, well, this is as good as it gets, life sucks. Like, I really was in a depression, thinking nothing was gonna get better, and just getting a lot of feeling like I had bad luck and stuff like that. So there's, there's a card coming out from the other side or just telling you to bring compassion to yourself like yes there's an acknowledgement that you have been going through hell like this has been crazy you can acknowledge that be tender with yourself this has not been an easy path for you lately and there's like some explanations that are kind of coming out here because I feel like your biggest question is like why why would this happen to me or like why does this have to happen and this is a message to you, kind of a get real message. Here's the infinity card telling you, stuff like this is always going to happen. There's always gonna be death. There's always gonna be people backstabbing you. There's always gonna be, you know, world events. There's always gonna be bad days. There's always gonna be pain. There's always gonna be suffering. There's, there's ups and downs. This is a world of contrast. You know, there's up and down, hot and cold, dark and light, good and evil. We as light workers are not here on the planet to completely obliterate the evil and make everything peaceful and perfect and dance around and sing kumbaya. That's not how this world's gonna be. Doesn't mean we just have to sit by and accept it and just be like, well, the world's going to hell in a handbasket, so might as well just, you know, not, whatever. Don't let that be your excuse to give up. But just know that yes, this is a world of contrast. I'm not trying to minimize what you've been through at all because there is an acknowledgement of your pain and your suffering. But this is telling you that peace comes through understanding and through education. It's an energy that you bring to yourself, that you decide to bring to yourself when you start kind of getting your bearings and realizing how the world is going to, it just kind of is. So this is a message to you of, of alchemy. An alchemist is somebody who takes lemons and turns them into lemonade. An alchemist is someone who doesn't let what's going on in the outside world control the peace that they have inside of them. An alchemist is also not perfect. This isn't somebody that like, you know, someone that's close to you passes away and you're like, oh, I'm so peaceful, everything's great. Like, you're gonna cry, you're gonna be upset, you're gonna suffer a little bit. But the alchemist always picks themselves back up and reminds themselves that they are the master creator of their lives. That no matter what life hands them, they can find a way to make it work for them. It's a choice you make every day. So it's continuously bringing yourself back to your center. It's continuously bringing yourself back to self-love and worthiness. It's making the decision that you're going to love your life and that you're gonna do something with it. You don't have to cure cancer in order to make a difference in this world. Sometimes making a difference in this world is really just about bringing balance and peace to yourself. Because a world of happy people is a happy world indeed. So peace on earth happens one person at a time. Bring yourself to peace. This is telling you that don't worry, things are changing, okay? There's an acknowledgement that there has been a lot of adversity going on around you, and at this point, you're just jaded. Have you ever felt jaded where you're just like, I don't care what happens anymore. I'm just down in the dumps, you know? Well, this is an acknowledgement. This is a normal reaction to what's been going on around you, but, and so this is the understanding card. Almost like your guides, your angels are just like, we understand, we, we get it, like it's okay that you're feeling like that. However, there's a message urging you not to give up on miracles. Maybe you've been
praying for a miracle and it hasn't come. This says allow miracles. You are the miracle. Create a miracle in your life. Decide what you want and go get it. Shine your light. You have a light force. You have an energy inside of you that can create things, that can make things happen. Don't ever forget that. Nothing comes easy. You have to work hard. You have to stay clear about your intentions. You gotta put your blood, sweat, and tears into it sometimes. But if you stay consistent, whatever you wanna make happen will happen. Maybe not exactly the way that you expected, sometimes even better and different than what you expected. And usually in a different timing than you expect. So this message isn't asking you to change anything. It's not asking you to change your perspective. It's not asking you to do anything really. It's just asking you to ponder that maybe what's really going on is kind of shitty, but maybe it's also your perception. Bring peace back into your life through little actions that you take through kind words that you speak to yourself. I believe in you. I hope that this reading resonates with you. I wanna remind you that I am open for personal readings if you're interested, but to be honest, the best way that you can support me and my channel is simply just by liking and subscribing and sharing this video. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number three, let's go ahead and get your message. So I have a whole bunch of cards down here ready to pull for you. Like we're getting some word today, you guys. <laughs> um, I pulled these cards once again from my angel deck. Uh, I put an app on my phone so I could expose for the background and my face. So it's gonna be like the words will be reversed, but you can still see them. Hopefully that's okay. So this is a love message. If you aren't looking for a love message or this does not resonate with you, choose number one or two, okay? Because sometimes that happens. This is a general message, may not resonate with everyone. I just gotta trust my gut here, okay? Here's what I'm getting for those of you guys who choose number three. This is definitely a love message, okay? And it's like you've been waiting. You've been waiting for this person to step up in some way. You like you have a huge connection with someone, a big crush, someone you've been hooked on, someone you've been dating or hooking up with or whatever. And you've just been waiting. This is a listening card. Like you've been waiting for them to confess to you their feelings or to give you some direction or to tell you how it is that they feel. And this is the reassurance card telling you it's time for you to step up and, and have courage. Like, you can't keep standing on this edge anymore. It reminds me of, uh, I jumped off a couple clip, cliffs here in Croatia and I would stand there on the edge, looking over the side, seeing how long of a jump it is. I knew I'd be fine. I've jumped off of like cliffs and things like that before, but I would just stand up there and I'd hesitate for like five, 10 minutes and I knew I couldn't turn back. Cause I'm the kind of person where I'm like, if I made it this far, if I tell myself I'm gonna do something, I have to do it. I, I know I'll be so disappointed, like wondering what if, like what would that experience have been like if I would have just jumped? So it's like kind of torturous to just stand there. And every time I would jump, it would be amazing. Like I would feel this sense of relief. I would feel so thankful that I did it. And I would plunge into the ocean and it was just beautiful. And like I was proud of myself. And so this is telling you, it's time to be to open yourself up. Maybe it's time to confess how you feel to this person or ask them for clarity. Especially if this is someone that you've been hooking up with or you've been intimate with in any way or that has like flirted with you or like that you've like really been romantically connecting with. You have a right to ask like, what are we? You have a right to, um, to, to ask for that type of conversation um, if that's what you want. 
if this is something really new and really fresh, maybe you shouldn't go at it that hard. Like, what are we? And you haven't even been on like a first date. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. Um, but maybe it's, you know, time to slide into that person's DMs and just be like, you know, want to go grab a coffee or whatever. Like, sometimes we sit around and we wait for the other person to make a move so long that we put ourselves on hold for other opportunities that be, could be coming in. And I talk to a lot of you guys in personal love readings that have been stuck on people for months, for years, and this person has moved away or like they haven't done anything. And it could just be a simple DM of like, what's up? Or let's chill or whatever. Next time you're back in town, how about we go to the movies? Or like, it could be so easy. And a lot of you guys are, you know, afraid to get rejected. But honestly, here's what's worse. Here is what is worse. What is worse is not knowing. What is worse is sitting there and torturing yourself. What is worse is standing on the edge of that cliff, looking at how long that drop is and feeling just discouraged and scared. So don't hold yourself in that space. Either turn back, and don't jump or jump. So some of you guys need to hear this message, okay? Trust yourself, because this could not be a message for everyone. And a lot of you guys might take the jump. You might ask the person or talk to them and you might get ghosted, you might not get a reply, they might tell you they're not interested and you might be like, well, what the heck, Rainbow Harmony? But you know what, it's better to know. So find peace in your heart, ask yourself if this feels right for you because you no matter what I say or the tarot says you got to do what's right for you and you know find your clarity and take responsibility responsibility is the ability to respond to a situation if you're feeling totally hung up on someone and you don't know where you stand and it's been going on for a long time and you've tried everything and you've tried everything and they're not coming at you you can come at them be gentle it's okay to kind of dip your toe in the water to make a very subtle first move, and I mean subtle. <laughs> um, but this is telling you be flexible. Be flexible and see it from this person's perspective. Maybe they don't know what you want. Maybe they don't know that you even have a crush on them. Maybe they don't even know you exist. Maybe they don't know how you're feeling. And so express yourself in a, in a gentle way. Don't overthink it and say what you need to say or drop a little hint to this person. And this is actually like a very spiritual thing, like opening yourself up to speak your truth, opening yourself up to connect with someone. So this is a message for you to maybe open to that, okay? So once again, this is a very particular message, it may not resonate with everyone, or maybe it's a message that's meant for you for a later time. But I'm just reminding you that you have the ability to speak your truth in relationships. And maybe this has to do with a friendship. Maybe there's something you need to tell a friend about. Or maybe there's something that, uh, some type of clarity you want to get with a family member. or Something like that. Like, this could also be a message of, you know, confront that person. Or ask for help. Or ask for what you need. Uh, take a deep breath and express yourself and it's going to be very, very healing for you to do so. So I hope that this message resonates with you. Um, I want to remind you that I am still offering personal readings, okay? You'll find the information below. But the best way that you can support me and my channel is just by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it with someone else. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I will see you next time. Peace out.